would have destroyed me. <laughs> yes, and I would have loved every second of it. <laughs> but you know, it's amazing what you just said. It's, it, it's an example of how the left and the woke in general are against sharing. Like if sharing is a sign of something bad, when in fact we should be celebrating. I celebrate all the time. If I get an email from somebody from like Korea, like, you're my favorite wrestler. I don't be like, how dare you, <laughs> sir? Yes. You know, like you, you embrace that. You love that. You want people from all walks of life to laugh at you, with you. That's the whole point of the memes. Yeah. So, you know, it's again, it's over. Yeah. It, it's going to be CN now. Yeah. Just take the N off. Take the N off. <laughs> should be take, nonsense. Instead of CNN, it should be C ya. Complete nonsense. That's what they are. Joe, how you doing? Yeah. I'm doing good, Greg. I've got, got uh, I, I think Tyrus can back me up on this. I've got my finger on the pulse mm -hmm. of black America. <laughs> yeah. And they are tired of, of adding things to be offensive. You know? Yeah. Uh, when I was a kid, the only two words you couldn't say were the N word. And irregardless. Yes. And I thought that was a better world. It's not the problem that we're we got so many things that are offensive. It's that we're adding so many offensive things. Mm -hmm. it, the problem is that these uh, a lot of people just weren't made fun of enough when they were kids, so they can't they can't deal with it. You know. <laughs> we needed more bullying. Yeah. We. I mean, when you say something that offends someone, they put the person that said that into sensitivity training mm -hmm. when it should be the other way around. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> That's a great point. Chris, what is, what is CNN still doing this? Weren't they supposed to turn that truck around and become kind of like sane? Here's, here's my question. What is the editorial process of <laughs> yeah. CNN? I mean, honestly, like it's fine. Like this guy is trying to like get as many clicks as possible, but you have an editorial process in place so that insane stuff doesn't actually end up you know, on your website. And here, the people, the the brain trust at CNN got together and was like, I think this is a great idea. The, the dude actually used the words, uh, the most insidious form of racism. Not just, it's kind of racist, it's a little racist. Like, literally, this is cross-burning, lynching habit. This is the most insidious form of racism is sharing. Ain't nobody got time for that meme. Like, yes. That's it. That's it. The most insidious form. No, it's crazy. It's crazy. Well, they always have to make whatever they're talking about seem worse than whatever they talked about before. They can't say, this is bad, but it's not as bad as the other thing that I was talking about before, because that's really boring. Kat, how do you feel about memes in general? I have mixed feelings. I feel like they're like like catchphrases in a way that they kind of replace thinking. You know, I'm so tired of the one of those guys in suits dancing. Do you know that everybody posts that meme? Do you know what I'm talking about? They're like at a garden party. Yeah, I have friends who will always respond in the chat with like a, a gif or a meme. I'm like, can you just talk to me, please? Yeah. Uh, but I mean, I don't think that that many people are really that upset about this. I did see one guy who was like, thankfully CNN's talking about this. We have to let people know. And then I go to his Twitter. Apparently he wrote a book called The Case for Cancel Culture. <laughs> <laughs> that checks out. Um, but basically what they're saying is that if you're a white person you can't share it because you know you you can't understand there, there could never be a thought or a feeling that a black person that was expressing that you could relate to mm -hmm. so basically that is placing the words and thoughts and feelings of black people into a separate category from the rest of humans and to me that is what sounds a little racist actually mm -hmm. what's your favorite meme i don't have a I don't know. If you have a favorite meme, then I'm sorry. <laughs> I think you just made a meme. I think the great thing about this show is we just made three memes out of Kill Meat, and those are going to be everywhere. <laughs> just like Kill Meat. Well, no, he just never leaves the building, actually. <laughs> if you need me, I'm here. <laughs> yes, that's his, that's his meme. If you need me, I'm here. And we should get one like, hey, Kill Meat, go home. Yes. <laughs> All right, up next, the media police.